Hi everyone, it's Justine. Today is the turn of the hourglass body type to get dressed. We'll have a look at your strength, your weakness, so to say, relative weakness. Two possible strategies available to you to dress your body. Celebrities, how they deal with it when they have an hourglass body shape like you do. And last but not least, for each of the two possible strategies, closet advice, shapes that work well with your body, what to wear, what to avoid, everything. First of all, your strength lies in your curves. Large hips, large breasts, and a really thin and tiny waist. Well, congratulations, because you have, historically speaking, the beautiful feminine ideal body of most of the last 3,000 years. Then you don't really have a weakness, technically, but you might want to break up with that Venus beauty ideal image from time to time. So we're gonna have a look at how you can do that. Strategy number one, you play the card of the hourglass body. You build an horizontal line, visually, optically, at the level of your bust and hips, and you build a vertical line and slim your waist down even more so you get the perfect hourglass. Beam, bam. That's strategy number one. Strategy number two is take a break from all that for a change and turn your body, thanks to how you dress it, into a rectangle. Now, who in Hollywood is an hourglass body? The first one, Sofia Vergara, she's a South American actress. She plays in a TV series called The Modern Family. She's our typical hourglass. She shows it off, she's proud of it, and she tends to wear kind of the same dress shape on every red carpet and at every event. Salma Hayek is another very good example of an hourglass body shape. She's playing Frida in the movie about the painter Frida Kahlo, which is a brilliant movie if you haven't seen it yet. And another one is Scarlett Johansson. All those ladies tend to wear kind of the same thing. And they also tend to get hired for similar roles. Now let's take a contrasting example to see the difference. Dita Fontese is a, a so-called luxury stripper. <laughs> so it's called a burlesque dancer. That's what she does. When she's on stage, she dances in a really sexy way. She's wearing tons of corsets, super high heels, tights. She's playing the full card of the hourglass feminine body. When she's outside of the job, she takes it really easy because she needs a break. So she's a good person to look up to in street style when you need inspiration on outfits that blur the line of your hourglass body shape. And now the closet advice. <laughs> if you went for strategy one, which was to play the card of the hourglass body type, then tight clothes are obviously a very good bet, right? Pencil skirts accentuate your hips, slim down the legs underneath, they're perfect for you. Leggings, mermaid shapes like Sofia Vergara wears on the red carpet, all that works for you. Jeans can work for you as well if you go for brands with curvier models, which you can tell from the advertising. If you see an ad in a magazine, you can tell if the girl has more bum, then it's probably a jean passport that's gonna work for you. A Levi's ID curve in bold and extreme, for example, or curvier. Guest jeans is generally speaking a brand that works with curves. Pepe jeans is another good one. And when I'm talking about fit, you might want to consider, in your case, getting a tailor. Because having clothes changed to fit exactly your measurement feels so much better and looks three times as expensive as the price of the clothes themselves. And usually it's just a few dollars more that do make a huge difference. Your second possible strategy was to take a break from all that femininity. Hide your waist, and for that you can try normcore fashion. It's quite hard to pronounce, but it actually means hardcore normal fashion, normcore. So it's typically your neoprene hipster outfit, right? It's super comfortable or heavy knitted stiff fabrics. Other alternatives to give you a break from your terrific body include a skater skirt, which blurs the line at the level of the hips, so it's giving you a break as well. Loose blouses, cowl tops, cowl means that you have a lot of drapery and a décolleté going on in the front, or overalls. Overalls that are a little bit straight, high your waist, they're top comfortable and they still look awesome. You can go to work, to school, wherever you have to go wearing that. Now I'm curious, if you are an hourglass, and you have different tips or dress differently, please write it down in the comments below this video so we can talk and discuss. And I'm super happy to learn how you do that because I'm not an hourglass, so super interesting. Please share. If you found this video useful, thumb up. Thank you so much. Very nice. And now is the time to click again. If you know a friend 
who has one of those bodies different from yours and you want to see their strategies or share the video with her, you can click here if you're watching on a computer. If you're watching on a smartphone, you'll find the exact same links in the info box below this video for you to click. Now is the time to say goodbye. See you very soon again for a new video. And until then, take care. Bye-bye.